Welcome to kidsacademy.mobi. Hi. Today what we are doing is we're looking at a worksheet and the name of the worksheet is called Springtime Garden Math and we're adding ones or tens or we actually need to add both of them together. So what we're going to do today is I'm going to kind of show you a trick on how we're going to do this. So the very first thing that we're going to do here is off to the side I'm going to kind of show you how we're we're going to add these numbers up. We've got our numbers 61 plus 20 and they're already kind of in a line here for us ready for us to add them up. But I like to even do more than that. I like to put them, if we're talking about ones and tens, I like to put them in something called a T-chart. So over here, you're gonna draw a picture and it's gonna kinda look like a T. That's why they call it a T-chart. So I'll show you right over here. Right over here, you're gonna draw out your T, okay? And on the right side, we're gonna have our ones place. And on the left side, we're gonna have our tens place, okay? And then here, we're gonna fill in our a problem, our addition problem, so that we can solve it. So we've got 61, like this, and ones, the one is in the ones place, and the six is in the tens place, and 20. Now I'm still getting used to this. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna add these up together. So I've got one plus zero, and we know that that's just one, and then six plus two. So you're gonna add that together, six, seven, eight. So I've got eight down here, and that gives us our number, which is 81. So you're gonna come over here, and you're gonna circle the number 81, and that gives you the answer. Now another way we can do this, I'm gonna write a little bit bigger this time since I got a lot of space here. Another way we can do it is we can put it in our T chart. Once again, it looks like a lowercase t. And then on again, at the top, we've got our ones place and our T for our tens place. And we're gonna fill that in. But instead of filling it in this time with numbers, we're gonna fill it in with pictures. And I really like pictures. Um, but our pictures represent an idea. So what we're gonna do is this dot right here is gonna represent a unit of one. And we're also gonna make columns that represent 10 units, that's why we call it the tens place. So this is a column, and we'll pretend that this is made up of 10 of these little dots, okay? So we've got our one, but we need six over on this side. So I've got one, two, three, four, five, six. And then down at the bottom, I've got 20. So I'm gonna go two on this side, one, two, and zero, because there's zero, is there's none. So we've got none over here. And then we're just gonna add these up. So how many units of one do we have? One. And then how many columns of 10 do we have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we just add them up. And I like drawing pictures, that makes it fun. And we've got, once again, we've got 81. So that's another way that we can solve this problem here, okay? Using that T-chart, I like that. That helps me with my tens and ones. So now we're gonna follow this little line down here whoop, and come down on to the next problem. And our next problem is 45. Let's do that again. Let's put it in a T-chart. Now 45 plus two. Here's my T-chart, I've got my my tens place on this side and my ones place on this side and then I'm just gonna fill it in. So I've got 45 plus two, okay? So 45 plus two. Let's add them up. Five plus two, five, six, seven, okay? So that's my answer down here, seven. And then four plus nothing. Well, we don't do anything there, so we can just bring the four on down. And we've got 47. So I'm gonna come over here and I'm gonna circle that 47 and that's my next answer. Okay, let's go on to the next one. Follow our little line down here and it leads us down to 32 plus six. How about we draw those pictures again this time? Let's make our T-chart. And we've got our ones place and our tens place. And then 32 plus six. So I've got two units of one and then I've got three tens. Okay, plus six, now make sure, is the six on the tens place or the ones place? It's over to the right, so it's gonna be one. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now we're gonna add them up together. We've got 
one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I'm gonna write eight right down here. And then how many do we have? One, two, three. So I'm gonna write down three tenths. So it's 38. And I'm gonna come over here. I'm gonna circle 38, all right? And we've got two more here. The next one, once again, let's put it in the T-chart. Got our tens place and my ones place. And fill that in. So I've got 20 plus 23. All right. And then we're gonna add them up. So three plus zero, just three, easy peasy. And then two plus two is what? So we're going to put 4 right down here, and we've got 43. Let's see. Let's check. Do we see 43? Yep. It's the very first one right over here, 43. And there's our next answer. The last one is 34 plus 4. And how about we do, how about we do a drawing this time? So we've got our tens place and our ones place, and we just fill it in. We've got 34 columns of 10 so we've got three and then four units one two three four and then we're going to add four and remember four is under the ones place so one two three four we've got ones let's add up our ones column we've got one two three four five six seven eight eight right down here and then add up our tens column, one, two, three, and we've got 38, so let's come over here, 43, nope, 36, nope, oh, 38, there it is. And we are finished with that, okay? Nice job today. Like us and subscribe to our channel. Find links to our apps and comments below.